cupcake. This is one of the favorite in America. I'm going to show you how to make a simple cupcake. The difference is I love to use those recyclable mold. I tell you I want to be green. And those things here are great. They don't stick. And then you can put your cupcake in there. They are beautiful. Then you put them in a wash machine and you reuse them. So now I have here 125 grams of sugar. I'm going to put four whole egg. And the sugar. Traditionally, we do that over a double boiler. Um, you can do it directly on the flame, but you have to stir very fast and everywhere. Otherwise, you will have crumbled egg. OK, now I'm going to put that into the stand mixer. Third speed. And we go for, let's say, about three minutes. On the meantime, I weigh 125 grams of flour. So same quantity sugar and flour. We're going to sieve that over the bowl. And then I'm going to add to it 100 grams of melted butter. Melted, but not boiling, just warm. So now that the genoise or the eggs and the sugar are really nice and uh, fluffy and light. What I'm going to do is take the flour, put the flour over a hand shifter, and then as I stir, oh, I cannot do that with the left hand. As I stir, I'm going to sift the flour over. Better to do it like that. and then fold very delicately the flour into the egg. And just before the flour is completely mixed, I'm going to add my 100 grams of butter. What the butter is going to do, the butter is going to add, of course, fat to that recipe, make the eggs a little bit heavier, but bring a way better flavor than just the eggs, and keep those cupcakes way more moist. You see, now everything is well mixed. Make it fall a little bit, you know, over mix it a little bit. You want that to be not too, too light. But this is perfect now. So when that's done, I'm going to pour the mixture into the cupcake mold. So you will have at least another six here. I'm going to have to empty this one a little bit. OK, that's good. And then I'm going to bake that for about 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes at 350. So it's been about, I would say, three to four minutes. And the meringue is ready. I boil. One cup of sugar with one cup of water and bring that to a boil and then you have a simple syrup. If you want to flavor it, add strawberry, raspberry, coffee, alcohol, whatever you like into that syrup. I'm just going to put a li little bit of coffee extract. Mix it. Taste it. Put a little bit of coffee extract on top of the cupcake. The good thing with those cups, they are silicone, so the syrup don't going to go anywhere. So they're going to stay very moist. So that's a, a big plus. And as you see, they are not attached together, so they're a little bit easier to use. OK, so now that's nice and moist. My meringue, I can leave it like that. I'm going to add a little bit of coffee also.
I'm just finishing mixing. That's a good fighting meringue. If you want to fight with that, this is great. It's sticky. Okay, so I'm going to use... This is great. That's something fun to use at home. And if you have any cream left over or what, you can leave it there. Just put it in a fridge. So a little bit of the meringue inside the funny looking piping bag here. It's funny looking, but practical. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Then we need to close that. Maybe I feel it too much. No, that's good. The good part is that you can put that here and put a little bit of the meringue inside the, cupca the cupcake. And then you can decorate the top whatever way you, you want to decorate it. You can do a little swirl. You can do a little circle this way. You can do it more classical way. This way you can do some dots. When you don't know what to do in pastry, do dots. It's always cool. Okay, we can do a snowman, and then you have to decorate it. You see, it's basically a piping bag. It's just more neat and it's easy to work with if you are not used to use a piping bag. And it's actually pretty precise. Bon appétit.